Whoa, whoa, oh, this is great. So I was told to open this box on camera by a viewer who said that I might be interested in it and my dad might be interested in it. So this could end up as a video on Gearling Engineering. Let's see what's in here. FM AM, it looks like there's a, there's a radio in here. And wow, now that looks cool. And this thing looks like it would come straight out of like uh, Portal or Aperture Labs or something. And what is what do these do? Oh. Well, that is definitely an interesting piece of gear. I think that this thing would find a fitting home on my dad's desk, so I think I'm going to take it over to the radio station and see what he thinks of it. Whenever I go to your desk, there's always a new trinket somewhere on your desk that's interesting or an object that you're putting out a, a tower site or something. So a viewer sent in a box and said, I want you to take a look at this. I think your dad might be interested in, in it. And I open it and it, I think it'd be perfect for your desk. And just a quick run through, like you have like, there's a little Wally over here. Yes, my little Wally and USB. I adapter. see you got uh, Joseph the Carpenter down there. Yeah, keeps your namesake. An eye on me. So he's got his eye on you. Another right thing now. that I, I often see people talking about is the uh, clock that does the seconds uh, yes. and the minutes. That yeah, one. much the easy to read. What's clock? the story on that one? Uh, that clock I saw. I actually, my idea was to take uh, transmitter meters, which are like this big. <laughs> and translate that to make a, you know, what you'd look in the old days is you transmit a plate current, plate voltage, plate current, forward power, and make it be a clock though. And then I saw this online, uh, got it for as a present. But anyway, it's, it, uh, it allows me to adjust the time and uh, there you go. And then also something that people ask about sometimes is the screen back here. Can you tell me what that is showing us? Yes, this is showing you whether this transmitter is a good neighbor to my little transmitter. I got a 250 watt station. 100,000 watts, <laughs> HD carriers, but it's, an, it's a uh, software-defined radio, SDR, running the uh, uh, AirSpy software, which is, uh, it also will give me data up here in the corner that we transmit for FM. So I do, I, I love the... Uh, so can I you explain a little more, like what, what are all the different things we're seeing? So this is uh, the spectrum. So you've got your RF frequencies down here. So there's a station at 96.3. I'm at 96.7 right here and you could go up and all across the band and you can change, you can tune it just like a radio, you could tune it there, but I'm seeing the energy at every moment of time and every frequency there because FM, it's forward and backward. You're, you're modulating, frequency modulating. Uh, that's what FM means, frequency modulating. So the frequency here is actually swinging all over the place and, and jumping energy. And then these guys are digital carriers. They're just like on-off carriers. There's 30 or 60 of them, I don't remember but they, they carry digital uh, information for the new radios that do HD, and they carry pictures and, and everything else they want for the HD stations. And I noticed that you have a couple HD radios on your desk down here. I do have a couple. And, so uh, I, and I have I've, no never, I've never seen one of these in the wild. Yeah, this is what you clip Do on they even there. sell those? Like, can you get it at Best Buy or something? You can no longer get these that I know of, but <laughs> this, was the, this was one of the better ones. They, the first version came out and used up a lot of battery, so you didn't get a lot of time. Uh, but what's good is you get older, you can walk, like you can do your exercise to it, and when the battery dies, you stop. It's really good. <laughs> Almost every time I come here, I see a new type of clock, and this one over here yeah. is no exception. Yes. Is there a story? Did somebody buy that for you for a gift? Uh, yeah, it's a, it was the gear clock because it has gears, so I thought that was pretty cool. So, but it, and I don't have the gears working because either I'm too cheap to get the battery or it makes too much noise. Yeah. I'm not sure which. Well, which I one? have, and then what are... You always have transmitter parts, or what, what are these guys down here? <laughs> these guys are actually uh, solid state relays. So we have a, a device turning on all the lights in the floor here. Uh, it takes four circuits of AC and it turns all the lights on at once. And the thing hums like crazy because <laughs> it's got a mechanical latching uh, uh, relay setup. And so I'm gonna get that to silent by putting these guys in, which make zero noise. So let's see, here's the box. Oh, uh, sweet. And on top of the thing inside, you'll also see another little, actually really? my Father's Day gift to you. Oh, nice. So If it's not gonna like suck all my stuff into here and organize it. And no, it no, no, out. it's not a magic box. <laughs> that would be great, dude. Top oh, thing. oh, whoa, who yeah. could not like that? Who could not like that? Micro Center gift card. This was not sponsored, by the way. That's very <laughs> nice. Thank you, but, Jeff. Uh, 
But I noticed you had on your list there your little to-do list, a USB hub, some Cat6 oh, cables yeah, and things. Yeah, Maybe yeah. that'll help with it. Yeah, what the heck are we doing here, Bob? But yeah. now get that box out and let's yeah, see. Let's get this box out. This is uh, more difficult to get out than the uh, credit card. Okay. Uh. It's foam. We love foam. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, this is great. This is great. Where did that come from? And so, is it like a radio? Is you tune it there's, in or something? There's a switch on the back. Go ahead and hit that on. Oh, that's okay, now look cool. at the front. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. So these are actually Nixie tubes. Have you ever heard of yeah. Nixie tubes? Oh yes, I've heard of Nixie tubes. Have you ever had a Nixie I tube? I probably have one. Probably you have one somewhere. Uh, not right here, but I could, I could have one. Yeah. I know I have one. It's actually a right Bluetooth now. speaker, AM FM radio. Oh wow. With a 3.5 millimeter plug on the back, so you wow. can plug an MP3 player in or something. That is. Perfect. And uh, there's different modes. There's LED lights for the Nixie tubes if you want them lit up different colors. So yeah. is, is that actually right? Is Clock it 515? Five, it's about right. 517. Oh, okay. maybe. It doesn't, I don't think this one has GPS, but the knob on the left is the mode selector. So you can switch it over to the, no, you got to turn it uh, to the right. No, other, other right. That's <laughs> designed and, and then, built oh, around. Oh, my goodness. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That is sweet. That is And sweet. it does AM, too. If you switch it one more, you can get to this your uh, AM stations. Yeah, to the, to the right, other right. The other right. There you go. Keep doing that. Oh, look at that. I can't see that AM, I can tell you. <laughs> I lived in that world for many years, answered many questions about this kind of thing. Where is my AM station? <laughs> yeah, and I think in the box, too, if you uh, switch it back to the left, two clicks. <laughs> There's also an antenna stuck in the box somewhere, too, for oh, the FM, it? I think. That's sweet. So this is a crowdfunded little box. That is... Yeah. So the one downside is apparently they're having trouble oh, yeah. getting it all put together because that case, that is a complicated wood enclosure mm -hmm. and they have mm -hmm. like five different varieties of wood that you can choose. Yeah. So they're having some trouble getting them produced, but it is a what really a beautiful, slick looking it's beautifully product. packaged too, Jeff. I like yeah. it. Did you find the antenna? That even looks cool. Yeah. I mean, it looks like something out of one of those video games with the retro tech. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it gets 90, uh, the, the, the 250 watt guy. There it is. 250 watts. Um, wow. Uh, you watch so we got some right digital, digital representation. Now, Ukraine, now Wait, what is that on? 96.3, that's this guy. Funny thing is the tuner sounds like it's a little over, yeah, it overcompensating does. there. It, like your signal's weaker, but it sounds better. You see, well, fine, but I... So mode to Bluetooth is three, so I'll go all the way over and then back one. I know that's Bluetooth. And it says long press of two, which is the edit button in the back. Hold okay. down the edit button. Cool. I would say that's in the Bluetooth mode now. Yep. Okay. I think. Ooh, fancy. That's, look at that. Okay, it's now try that. playing back some sort of musical. Thing. Oh, you mean the music I don't have on my phone? Well, you should have something. Uh, or just go to my YouTube video way. and play back one of them. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Main channel, and hopefully that project will get underway soon. There's a link below. Sounds a lot better. The new server yeah. that's coming needs a lot of depth, like more than 30 inches. And my old rack is just too darn small. So I built this rack. Um, Where did they pause, get those? You want to pause the music? No. Well, that's a good music. Same know, but it's the music that we can't use on YouTube. All that history. Oh, that's music you can't use, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got like three seconds. If we put that on YouTube, we'd get demonetized or whatever. Uh, or you'd get a note nope, from Earth, Wind, and Fire. And the listeners had that? Yeah. Like somebody developing this kind of I, stuff. I huh? think somebody who worked on some of the firmware for it was uh, excited about it and wanted to get it out there. So It is. A, it's an exciting I'm product. hoping that they, I mean, the hard thing is, look at the, I mean, look at the wood detail on that mm -hmm. thing, on the back especially. They're mm -hmm. like those little cuts and things. Somebody oh, has to. Oh, listen to that. There is something's got to be going on there. Something you're touching is hit and play. Or it's remembering inside, buffered. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a reset button there. Yeah, but I mean, all, all those different wood pieces have to be put together just so, just and right. somebody is sanding it, is. it down and everything. Yeah, the quality is excellent. And I mean, it looks, you're starting to wonder how they put this together when they do the final thing. <laughs> you know, I can like, picture this and then it sliding out a bunch of important yeah. stuff, you know, sliding well, I, out. I, I'm guessing that the front ring mm -hmm. covers in, up, in, like in the straight. ring is holding everything in. Yeah. That's my guess. And uh, the carpenter, he's not jealous. Look at that. That <laughs> goes again. 
I wonder. I wonder if it's shaking. Like, hit. No, no, no. Well, yeah, but set it down. Set it down. Okay, tap it on the top. Like. Oh, I didn't try, touch. Try again. Tap. Okay, so that, I bet there's a there's a vibration yeah. sensor in the top. Huh. That's, so that's interesting. I wonder if that's a documented feature or an undocumented feature. <laughs> it might be documented. Yeah. I didn't. I honestly didn't read through the documentation. I mean, yeah. what engineer reads through documentation? <laughs> That's right. I see a little jealousy right here. This guy, I think a little jealousy <laughs> in that guy. Yeah. What is the, what, where did you get him from? Uh, Mr. Robot guy came. That's, that's probably been 10 years too. VMware hosted a, a part of a show. Joe after he went there, got the thing and somehow my, the boss ended up with it. I don't get that, but that's what <laughs> happened. But it's great. It's a, it's a four USB hub. It's probably USB two, but it might be Maybe one. Maybe it's USB 1.1. 1. 1. It could be one point something. <laughs> I don't, I use it to do things like my charging cable and a couple other things yeah. that are le less relevant, but yeah. uh, I notice in there you have a voltage tester too. Yes, everyone should keep by their uh, desk handy a voltage tester. Uh, this one is awesome. It's uh, it's got a sensitivity setting, so you can test any kind of moving voltage at very low levels. So I can do uh, 240 volt, 600 volt, 120 volt, uh, and sometimes I've sensed uh, AC voltage on a power supply at six volts or eight volts. Huh you can sense that it's live, so it's pretty cool. And I noticed on the ground you also have a, uh, a drone down there. Yes, my drone. What do you Every, use the drone for? Everybody has a drone. Well, I use it to entertain my grandkids. I do that. <laughs> uh, but I use it to inspect towers now, my, my antenna installations, and looking at uh, bolts and connectors and antenna systems. It's, there's nothing better. I can inspect the guy wires that uh, you know go out into the fields instead of trudging through the mud. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Drones are cool. I've only broken it twice, and it's two hundred fifty dollars a piece, and I'm getting good at fixing it. So, <laughs> the two hundred fifty, I'm not getting good at the enjoying the two hundred fifty dollars. And you always have a couple kits of. I do my for... next my current in process things or uh, getting ready to package things. Uh, and an interesting thing here, everybody should have a thing about their uh, basement waterproofing. <laughs> so this is how the uh, goes down and against the wall. Uh, water comes in the hole, goes down the trough, pumps out. Who who wouldn't want that? Right? Yeah, the life of a radio engineer. And I just I just got that today. And the tube. This is a rare scene thing. You know, this is a small tube for a five kilowatt transmitter. So this is kind of cool. Yeah, see, five kilowatt tube for a small transmitter. It's in a Ziploc that you can then reuse for your sandwich. I don't lunch. know if I would put a sandwich in there. <laughs> I'm guessing that that will cause but reproductive here, harm here's in California. A tip. Here's a tip. As these tubes, as our American manufacturers were going out of the business of making tubes, the, the Russians came in and you can tell their tubes because they're pink. This is what I was told by the guys at the factory. So I have an American tube in here to replace this one. <laughs> Just FYI. That, I wouldn't even have imagined a product like that, Jeff. It's <laughs> this cool. It's uh, radio. It's like the perfect product for me. So uh, you it's know, a perfect it's a, thing to stick on your desk. Yeah, it's a good. Yeah, honey, I'll be late tonight. I got a project just came up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, that is just cool. Thank you to whoever sent that along. This is something. You know, Mike Wallman jealousy here. I'm feeling it, Mike. <laughs> so.